guys. Okay, that is so fake. <laughs> Yo, the way I just said hello guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make very special Father's Day cookies. These are my father's favorite cookies I'll be making for him. He doesn't know and he can't hear me. Anywho, um, so I'll be making them for him. He really likes these cookies and yeah, I just want to do something special for him. So, let's get started. In here we have one and a half cups of flour, quarter cup of oats, half a cup of co desiccated coconut, and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And here we have three tablespoons of peanut butter and two tablespoons of vegan delight butter, you know, the one that I usually use, that I'm gonna heat up in the microwave to make it melty melty. And then we'll be back. Here we have it melted. Um, the peanut butter didn't melt that much, but that's okay. We're just gonna mix it in. that in we're gonna be adding in here we have three tablespoons of brown sugar we will also be adding two tablespoons of custard sugar the reason I'm using custard sugar is because it's lighter and the brown sugar is majority for the flavor three, three tablespoons of custard sugar sorry so that will be adding a cap full of vanilla essence or a teaspoon a cat full. That's pretty much like a teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons. Mix that in. Then we'll be adding half a cup of soy milk. So I mean, quarter cup of soy milk. To our dry ingredients back here back here camera lady okay we'll be adding one heaped teaspoon or one and a half teaspoons if you want to be you know pedantic um of baking powder i'm using the double acting one and a pinch of salt pinch yes it's, it's, it's fine then we're gonna just mix that up to ensure that everything is Equally incorporated. The reason why I did it like this, where I started with the dry, then I went to the wet, then I went back to the dry, is that we can give, give time to our butter and peanut butter, our liquid mixture, to cool down because we put it in the microwave and we don't want it to be hot when we're putting it in. So while we're doing this, we're giving it time to cool down. In the meantime, in the meantime, in light of giving it time to cool down, we'll be chopping up our dark chocolate. Um, you can also use dark chocolate chips, but I didn't have, and also, either way, I prefer using dark chocolate because it gives it a nice plastic look. Chopping them up roughly. I to okay. I'm going to leave them um, roughly chopped. The bigger the chunk, the more the lamb. Just show how much lamb I have for my father. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have them big. I'm gonna make them much, much smaller. Like Sarah. <laughs> it's so annoying. Anyway, that's Tolu, one of my sisters. I'm one, one just one, not the best. <laughs> I said one of my sisters. So what? What does the best have to do with anything? I wanna be that sister that I am. Please give me a nice speech. Put that in. Mix, 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 mix. I would have put in more dark, dark, dark chocolate chunks. But, but you know we're making this for our father we don't need to get sick also we care so anyway now we're gonna add in our wet ingredients. wet ingredients see it's cooled down and it's nice and silky smooth it smells really good guys with the vanilla essence and the peanut butter and the butter Ooh. anyway adding that in in increments not completely reserve a half mix 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 Oh, I'm so excited. See, now it's making this lovely crum crumbly mixture. Tell you said that I'm that I can be annoying. Yeah. Mama, you said you need me to take one. Look at somebody. Look at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Look at you. Look at somebody. Anyway. 
adding the rest of it. Oh guys, look at the guys, it smells so delicious. And it looks like caramel. My father is sitting there and he has no idea. He has no clue. No clue. I always hear me to do clue with me. Anyway, it's fine. What up, Yemi? You don't waste. That's why we're scraping for so long. Then we mix this in. So it becomes a nice cookie dough mixture. This is why we added it in increments so that it's easier to mix and so that it comes together and then you add and then you know yeah don't fret guys remember we're making cookies so it shouldn't be okay our cookie dough is ready and now moving on Just clean as you go. Clean as you go. It's like so much easier. Ah. In five, four, three, two. Thank you. This is the butter I used, just by the way. You Delight. can use it for baking, so. Um, I use my hands. You don't have to use your hands if you don't want to. I'm just distributing it a little bit. Oh, and um, I think this is pretty obvious, but I preheated my oven so that by the time I'm done, you know, everything will be underway and we don't have to waste time waiting for it to get hot. And these cookies don't take long to, to make. They take about 12 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes to make. Let's freeze our tray. Or if... if you don't want to do this you can also use parchment paper but i don't have that so i'm doing this haha <laughs> please 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 and also this is good moisturizer for the hands guys once you've washed your hands you'll shape your you'll shape your cookie about a tablespoon And they don't spread out too much because there's not a lot of um, the ratio of butter and sugar to flour isn't that high so yeah so more butter you, you put in and sugar the more melty the more they'll, they'll spread out in the oven because obviously they're melting you know um, into a cookie but because we have decided to put more love more love we decided to put more love into this cookie we don't have we don't need as much butter you know i know butter makes everything better but here getting cold. the analogy is love makes everything better love that it's all about the love maria nobody asked you about your tea yeah. anyway <laughs> I'm gonna try our best to fit in as much of this as we can because we don't want to have to make and use another tray. Bring on the second tray. Bring it on. Maria, ne? Agents of darkness, please just stop. You don't have to be an enemy of progress. We're gonna make it work. Where there's a will, there's a way. Bring on. You know what? We're gonna make this work. It's working. It's working. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. This middle just looks enticing. Yay! This is the part where I put in the sound effects of kids clapping. Yay! Let me just make a few of them bigger, you know? Yeah. Can't come kill myself. Should have thought about that earlier. Mm -hmm. 
Smart people. Mm -hmm, what's that? What? Okay, shoot her. What? To that, we'll then press them down. about 12 to 15 minutes depending on how powerful your oven is um, I already preheated my oven to the highest degree I think it's 200 or 280 something the highest degree and I'm just gonna reduce it to low we're gonna cook these at 180 degrees so we put this in and decrease your temperature to 180 degrees cook them for 12 to 15 minutes and check them halfway just to just to check you know and just flip them around if needed be or move them to a higher rack Okay, now I'm gonna put these in. This is made of 20 cookies. Okay, I'm gonna put this in. Um, so here are our cookies. We put them in for about 12 minutes, and as you can see, they're as you can see that they're perfectly crispy and they're just a little bit soft on the inside. Just a little bit. They just give in a little bit, you know, not too crispy. Anyway, I have a container here for my dad where I'm gonna be putting in all the cookies. Well, not all of them, but just <laughs> I'm gonna fill it up as much as I can. And I even wrote him a cute little message um, in Yoruba, even though he never taught us, but that's fine. I'm um, saying, Happy Father's Day, Father. I love you very much. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Yeah, these. Just gonna make them nicely. Yeah, see the dog photos. It does. Perfect. This will be for him. I'm gonna put it on his coffee table, and when he comes back, he'll find them there perfectly with a note. The Father's Day cookies. This is the card that I made for him. Isn't this cute? It's in Yoruba. Um, anyway, it says Happy Father's Day, Papa. I love you very much. Um, and I drew a little. Well, my sister <laughs> drew a little flower. Well, together we drew a little flower. And these are the cookies. I really hope he enjoys them. I'm sure he will. These are his favorite. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy and you make them for some, from someone special for you too. It doesn't have to be your father, it can be your dad. I'm joking. Um, it can be your sister, your mother, or just enjoy them by yourself. <laughs> and I just wanted to say a very happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there and all the father figures out there as well. Um, and all the mothers that act and occupy and replace and are trying to make up for the lack of fathers that are in many households as we know many people don't have fathers and i'm grateful enough and privileged enough to have one an actual father and i just wanted to say happy father's day and god bless you and i really hope that you enjoyed your day and you remember how special and how important you are in your children's lives and all the child-headed households just thank you for all the providers Happy Father's Day and Happy Providers Day, let me rather say. Um, for all the fathers that didn't run away, thank you that you are an example to your mates. Anyway, um, I hope you had a wonderful Father's Day and you continue to be a good example and lead by example. And yeah, Happy Father's Day and may God bless you and I hope that you enjoy your role as a father figure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Peace. And love. And love. You can piss and love. Oh. <laughs> you have to pray. Happy Father's Day, Papa. How does it feel to be a father? <laughs> I'm very handsome. Uh-huh. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and